So these are the new Stampin' Write markers. They've been reformulated. Um, so they're available in the May 2023 to April 2024 annual catalog from Stampin' Up. They're priced at $50 for a set, or you can get all four sets uh, for $180 for a discount. Um, shipping and taxes apply, unless you buy during some sort of a special. Um, so I've pulled out all the Brights collection here, and I've got one of my older markers, so you can we can do a comparison. So here's the new one. So it's got a different label for one thing. So if you have an old if you have an old set of markers and a new set of markers, the new ones have the box around it. It's kind of like most of the labels now uh, that Stampin' Up has. For example, this one it's the same kind of concept. It's got the box around it. Okay, so the old ones. Uh, just like the new ones have the thick line and the thin line to indicate the brush end and the fine end. So this one is a fiber point. So the old markers were fiber points. Let's see if I can just pull out some scratch paper. So that's the fiber point. And then this was the brush point. Okay, this is the new one. So the, the brush point is the same. Well, I shouldn't say the same. It's got the thick line. It's a little bit um, thicker. Um, I shouldn't say thicker. So a side-by-side -side comparison. It looks fairly similar. I think it's a little fatter if you look at the base of it. Um, so that's one thing. And then, oh, so it also has the um, grippy cap still. And then the fine point and now is a bullet tip. So not a fiber point, but a bullet. So a little bit better, I think, for coloring, but you can then also use it for writing. Whereas I found the fiber point was not very good for um, coloring. Right? It's too fine. It was good for writing, um, but not for anything else. So that's the difference between the two of them. So I thought I'd show you a few different things that you can do with your markers. Um, one is that you can do a direct to stamp technique. So you can ink up your stamps with your stamp and write markers. So this is great if you do not want to invest in all the ink pad colors, or at least not right away. This is a way to get all the colors without spending quite as much money as you might by purchasing a whole set of um, markers, or sorry, a whole set of ink pads. So. For example, um, if you wanted to just ink part of a word, um, you could use your markers to do that. So you can be very specific with how you um, ink up your markers. Sorry, I'm just choosing colors. Um, so I will use Berry Burst. And I'm going to ink up, for example, for on this one, first of all, I'm just going to ink up the U. So you want to use the side of your marker to ink it up. And then often, if you're not fast, so often after you ink it, the one good thing to do is breathe on it like Darth Vader, I say. So you huff on it, so you, off camera, sorry. But what it does is re-moisten the ink in case you've taken a little bit longer to color. So then you can just stamp one word out of two words. Um, or the other thing that you can do is use it to emphasize or color in different colors. So you could do that with your words. So this is one where you would definitely want to huff on it because I'm putting two different colors on so it takes a little while. So by the time I get done the second color, the first color may be a little bit drier. So just to ensure. And then so that's a fun way to get two different colors and emphasize one word. You can also do that on image stamps. So if you wanted to do, let's say, a green and a pink. So again, going to the fat line end, which means it's the um, brush tip. So a lot of Stampin' Up! stamps have what they call two-step stamping. So the stem might be on one stamp and the flowers would be on another stamp. So that's a really easy way to combine ink colors without having to work too hard. But there are some that are single color stamps, or sorry, single image stamps. So in that case, if you wanted to do different colors, 
this is how you would get them. And again, just making sure it's all covered. And then you breathe on it. And stamp. Like that. So you can see it gives a little bit of a texture to the stamp as well. It looks a little bit more hand painted or hand colored even. If you wanted to stamp a solid image, so there are two um, black inks that Stampin' Up! carries. One is Memento Tuxedo Black. It's a dye ink. And one is Stays on Jet Black solvent ink or um, I call it alcohol based I'm not sure if it actually is so the Stampin' Up! markers are dye based ink so water based so you do not want to use like with like if you're going to be coloring in an image so if you use a dye ink with a dye or a water based marker what you will get is bleeding because they will interact with each other and cause bleeding so you want to stick with the stays on um, or some sort of solvent ink. Um, I always say this one smells like Sharpie marker. So you'll ink up your stamp. Then you're going to stamp. And it's a little sticky. <laughs> and then you can color in from there. The other thing to know is if you are using um, solvent based ink with your clear photopolymer stamps, you will want to clean them fairly quickly if you can. Clean off your stamp after stamping with stays on, like so. It will stain them, but it's not going to transfer. If you do it fairly quickly, I think you can see I got most of the ink off so it doesn't stain. If you leave it on for a while, it will stain. And I believe that sometimes the um, stays on cleaner does funny things to the photopolymer. Just a heads up. All right, so I've colored in or stamped my image, and now if I wanted to color, then I could just go ahead and color over that, like so. Like so. And like so. So the nice thing about this is because I know those lines are finer, if I wanted, I could use now the bullet tip. and just trace along them to give some color there and color in here because it might be a little bit more difficult if you're using something that's too wide. You could use the brush tip if you don't do a lot of pressure because it's got a fine tip end on it. I usually find for me that after a while sometimes I smush down the points a little bit. Okay, so a couple different ways to use your Stampin' Write markers. That's just a few of them. If you use the host code by Tuesday, June 13th to purchase Stampin' Up! markers, I'll send you a free tutorial featuring a project using markers and different ways to use them.